Christmas Wag and coming up next on CJ at the Movies, my reviews of Gringo and Thoroughbreds, which is said to be Anton Yelchin's last film. What is that? It's an injectable microchip. Okay. I need to keep dragging. I don't like needles! Your... <laughs> In Gringo, David Oyelo stars as a down-on-his-luck businessman who works at a pharmaceutical company led by his backstabbing bosses, played by Joel Egerton and Charlie Theron, who take him to Mexico to get their weed pill idea on the market. To get revenge on them, he pretends to get kidnapped for a $5 million ransom, but he ends up in real danger when a drug cartel wants him to give him the formula for the weed pill. The cast here is nice, the tone is fun, and I did enjoy a lot of Gringo, but the problems of most of the movie are, the story is convoluted, and at times it's kind of boring. I wouldn't mind seeing some scenes again, but this was a little too much for me to handle. Amanda, this is my stepdad, Mark. How long are you here, Amanda? My mom's gonna pick me up around midnight. Midnight's late for us. I'll call your mom. She can come pick you up now. She's busy. Doing what? Chemotherapy. And in Thoroughbred, Anna Taylor-Joy and Olivia Cook play two teenage girls named Lily and Amanda who decide to get rid of Lily's stepfather and they require the help from a drug dealer played by the late Anton Yelchin. The movie has the kind of dark tone that keeps you involved and it offers such fine work from Taylor Joy, Cook, Yelchin, and new coming filmmaker Corey Finley. At times it did lose me in the character study, but it gained my attention once I knew what the movie wanted to be. A strange yet effective thriller, so check it out. Well, those are my reviews this week. I'm Christmas Wag, and I'll see you at the movies.